mage or warrior. Basically, rogue, warrior, mage. And then when you get to levels, you can, like, choose what you want to be. Okay, so when you put... Uh, so that just requires you to have one skill in that. When you have... Uh, 11 things in might, you can choose that. 28 things in might, choose that. Basically, that's the tier. So if you put loads of stuff in might, you uh, choose those. If you put loads of stuff in the finesse, the roguey one that we've put in, you get to choose these. Uh, sorcery, you get to choose these. Uh, finesse sorcery. So then you've got all these different kind of specs, as long as you've got some in those, and you get different bonuses. Poison blink. <laughs> That's quite cool. So instead of dodging, you blink a short space, poisoning people nearby. Uh, oh yeah, so you got finesse sorcery, might sorcery, elemental resistance. Okay, and you just get a normal blink that doesn't poison people. Uh, but that's uh, so you basically got like a rogue sorcerer kind of thing we've got going currently. Uh, warrior sorcerer, uh, warrior rogue. So you're plus twenty damage. Oh, blade master! Oh, blade master! That's quite cool. And then you've got the uh, might finesse sorcery. So this is like the ultimate tier when you've got like something in everything. Uh, equipment requirements reduced by half, and Mastery of Arms unlocks everything. So yeah, basically that's just like, I'm ultimate hero. Although you may want to choose some of these other ones to get things like Blink and stuff. So it just depends what you want. For currently, uh, we'll go Mana Cost Reduction, Elemental Damage, Winged Attack Damage. Uh, let's go ma Mana one, just for now. You can come back and change it when you level certain things. Uh, you're terrible at this, you fair. Damn it, it's the truth. <laughs> at least, I think it is. <laughs> Don't you get so defensive, mate. You're changing. drunk. I just think you you're terrible. It's that. not trying to be offending you. You just need to get better at your skills. I've never had a reason to doubt my own readings. But we should consult with Arden. Okay, so I'll let's go and consult with someone. Uh, and you'll meet I'm us going there. Bye-bye. Uh, what does this all mean? So, we... Okay, so now we you unlock an item if you do the demo. You unlock an item for when you buy it properly. And the next city we're going to, which is Gore Heart, there'll be a chest where you can get certain items. If you like them on their like Facebook page or something, you also get loads of... You no, know, you get a lot of items for playing the demo. I think for downloading the demo, you get like three items. And then when you play the like, demo, you get another item. So uh, I guess the items not... You know, is stuff for everyone spec. So here's a lore stone. Uh, you'll hear an extra speech, I think, in the background, so uh, I'll be silent while it plays. Okay, so you need to find... Okay, that one didn't have any uh, speaking. Some of them do, though. And as you can see, you get XP for finding them, and you just said you get like a permanent bonus when you find them all in the set. So there are of sets. The oh no, here's the audio. The okay, let's... There echoes none more grand. Than Olaine's many feats of might, the pure and lady of the light. She is a knight of golden knot. She is the cure seeker, the conscience of the summer fair. She is the heart of the day. It's okay, it was just slow loading, and this is Goreheart, so they're sure. The warden can't oh. work when you're crowding so Good reaction. Close. And, oh, go poor injured Elvin. Okay, I'll go back to my business. Breaking chests! Or breaking... <laughs> and killing chickens and receiving gold. Grazing. Hello, mate. I'm going to the tavern, which is here. I'll just check and see if I can possibly find where that chest would be. Can you believe those marks? <laughs> Maybe it's not in the... Demo. Oh well. So you get a quest here to help this, and it starts a long quest chain. Um, I'll show you a bit of that if I can. Uh, I'm just going to show you around the town first. Okay. Ah, oh, here's oh here's the special delivery chest. So you don't get any of them in the de demo then. <laughs> Another chicken den. And you got all these boxes and stuff. You can try and get some gold from. Uh, 
Okay. No, I don't really want to miss. Ooh, another chest. We free loot. Gems, which prisms, which you basically turn into gems. Oh, give me. Oh, get yeah, XP for killing chickens. It's nice. It's like killing boars from South uh, South Park episode, I guess. Uh, so we're just gonna go and start that quest chain then and see what we can do. Simply because it's that basically the big quest chain you're meant to start in the area. I don't care what you race. Yeah, yeah, it is a tragedy. Poor creature. Okay. She's been beaten to the brink of death. The uh, timer doesn't experience expire in the demo. Doesn't, doesn't it, it doesn't expire this. while you're doing chat, so you can do the whole conversation. But for the con uh, for the purpose of a YouTube video, I'm still limited in time. Like I want to put as many videos. I don't want what's causing it to go up. I think it's just a certain chat box bug out, so let's stop that now. Uh, what happened here? It appears she was attacked with some manner of short blade. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. I was in the tower. Just because I've got daggers, no I can kill her. Finger. Can you imagine? I know. I don't shameful. know whether we possess uh, the knowledge to treat such a woman. Yeah, I'll help as long as you've got the gold. Seek her wisdom. Okay, so I need to go. Sorry, sorry for skipping some of that, and maybe you should have gone a bit slower. But I want to kind of get into the action and show you what's happening. Um, I guess you can go back and pause it if you want to see the te quest text. I'll go slower. I will skip a lot of the quest text since I've already done it, but I will go slower, giving you a chance to say pause and read it as you wish. Um, see, so we'll have bad guys up here, I think. So this is just a quick way to get up here. Uh, you can explore a quite nice, beautiful open world. Uh, good grass, good flowers, they're not just painted on the rock, on to the ground, which is quite nice. Ooh, I actually loot something. And we've got bog arts. Well, at least we finally want to see what the bog arts look like from Harry Potter. <laughs> so as you can see, you've got nice audio, and you can see the mini-map where all the bad guys are coming from. And you've got very nice audio, though. Really don't attack me while I'm charging. Loot. Gold. Give me gold. Lots of gold. Just starry skies above. And, uh, yeah, we've got another group of boggarts. So we have to quickly go down there for the quest over here. Oh, there's another lore stone. I'll uh, loop this and be quiet so you can hear the uh, lore that comes out of it. Because there's, you know, little bits of stuff. I don't know if what they say about these stones is true, but if it is, well, this is just too good to not say forever. Lystrom was out of town when Artor was visiting. Now, Lystrom doesn't know Artor, and Artor is older and strange. She could be mistaken for a fake weaver. So, when Lystrom came back to town, here was Artor the Oracular. I said to Lystrom, I hear her readings are amazing. You should go. <laughs> A rooster, she said, will change into a man, and this man will become your lover. He will provide for you, and he will make you laugh, and he will make your life exciting and easier. But, and this is something you can never forget, he must never eat chicken. <laughs> and once in a while, he will need to peck at things on the ground, and every morning at the break of dawn, you'll hear a loud cry from him. <laughs> So they seem to be, okay. So it seems to be some sort of recording system. Uh, let's just try and force it. Okay, let's uh, pick the lock. So it'll be quite hard. So you uh, move this around and you press D. See, you'll just do that until it wobbles. You can like risk not. So you just want to move it down slowly. You need plenty of picks. I mean, you can stop it, I guess, when you're wobbling. That wasn't too hard. I and mean, you, you do get some really nice loot from it, though. Uh, so it's not quite like pick locking from. Um, There's more simplified pick locking compared to one from Skyrim, where you wiggle around the pit lock while you're doing it. Oh, primary. Oh, I can equip these daggers. And wow, lots of stuff they give you. Uh, good uh, armor. 
And, oh, man, and armor. Oh, plus 5% armor. And they look good and they suit my set. Good. I've now got burning daggers. So... Cool. So apparently those law stones seem to be giant tape recorders. And we've got one that record... Ooh, wolves. Oh, cool. So, ah, oh, sorry, quite cool. The charge, you can use the charge to go through several enemies, like, keep doing it. Okay, I keep, I guess you get several charges, which is quite good. They don't do a lot of attacks, but if you dodge and stuff. Health potion. Switch to lightning charge because I can't actually hit people. Take that, Wolf. Um, but very nice dynamic combat, as I say. Uh, very good, very good, <laughs> very good. Uh, and the nice music, you know, the music gives a quite nice effect to it. So let's go and speak to self and see if we can help her friend. I do love the look of the daggers and their nice little burning, like, hilts. Yeah, they look quite nice. No, I love how they, um, you get no the way there and kind of left on you while you're uh, standing there. May your hollow gods keep you mortal. I yeah. am called Air. Your face is new to me. You're different from those in gold. Have you come to ask about the Tuatha? Yeah, I well, no, actually, I haven't. I've come to help your friend. Yes, I witnessed this crime. So as I say, I'm just going to let it play for a little bit of these bits and skip them so you can see them. Uh, but we can get through it all. It will need to be powerful. Your delicate forms are far more sensitive than... So I have to go and get a greater healing potion, which will actually require me to... I think maybe do a quest before I can buy one? I'm not sure. Uh, let's just see. Say fate builds up more slowly than it did in that bit. Uh, F to jump, you have to do a special jump animation. Oh, and bandits appear there, here now. Uh, socket fingers yet, but we'll see. Let's move it to a pocket theory. Chicken. Welcome to your I love you, chicken. So let's go in the alchemy shop. And we have to speak to her. You there? Do you feel nauseous, itchy? Have you not taken? No, this. No, I don't feel ill, little dwarf. If the Red Legion is involved, then. Ouch! Ouch! That's a lot. Staring death in the face. What? I'm sure I have a vial somewhere in this cot. Why ask if you're not only my apprentice? Right. So okay. So you gotta go and help her apprentice. I'm not sure. Once you've ensured heart safe. So once you save her, what I do think you'll find is um, that potion, I think, if I remember rightly, it goes from 1200 to 900, and by the time you've done this little bit, you'll um, have a lot of more items to sell and make the gold, so it kind of makes it more affordable. Uh, so kind of quests you don't have to do if you've got the gold or you find a way to get the gold, but they're quests you want to do to make things cheaper and make things more accessible. And it may just be that you get rep with them, but I don't really know about a rep tab. And we've got another buff bit over here, so let's just kill these guys and get a rep. So AoE. Oh, lag, lag. Oh, so it doesn't do a lot of damage. But it's quite cool because you can hit loads of mobs at once. I guess if you talent it a lot, it starts doing a lot of damage. So it doesn't really tell you what the buffs do, does it? Oh well. Uh, Law stone, I'll be quiet again so you can hear it. And, oh, you can fast travel. So, like, press 3. So, from local map to world map. And you can, like, travel to these locations if you found them. Fast travel. So uh, let's go stone and uh, I'll be quiet so you can hear. I have a secret to tell you. I am not sad. 
When I was a girl, my father used to tell me that when you grow old with someone, you tie your fate together and create a pattern that is part yours and part theirs. My father said that this is why when an old person dies, their partner is never far behind. But I do not feel that way. I feel free. So, in other words, her husband died and she doesn't care. Right, uh, she's a very caring, loving wife, and I'd love to have someone like that. Yeah, of course. <laughs> so anyway, this is like a dungeon area, I kind of guess, like one of those, like... It's not a dungeon, per se, obviously the whole game's single player, but it's the kind of, like, dungeon-y kind of theme area. So, uh... And we've got her helper over here to talk to. What are you doing down here? Don't you know Agnes? No. So, are you foolish or just stupid? No. What happened to the former? Oh, I see. The twisted gnome is. Nanny always was a fool. So immersed in her work that she failed to see the deception. At this very moment, they are moving crate. Poor Nanny. So trusting. I'm sorry. So basically, I she, he's trying to kill me, so I don't tell her uh, that he's betrayed her. Oh no. Shield. So you see, each shield only blocks certain amounts of damage, so if the damage so that's like 10, and your shield only... So if the damage was, say, 10, and it only blocked 5. Oh. I really don't know what the first part of that spell does, but oh well. I do like it though, you will get people with bows that stay back and shoot you instead of running up to medium range you. Which I guess is quite intelligent. Except not when I've got lightning bolts of doom! Oh yeah, yeah, I suffer all that damage and get a twig. And I've got fate, I need to remember to use that now. Right. Uh, there was a, yeah, there was a crate over here that's going to open it. <laughs> you can just basically forcing is like uh, a lazy man way to pickpocket that's less like to open it. It's kind of like championship manager or two match. It's never as good as your well. Okay, championship manager, you don't really have much skill. It's like playing FIFA instead of putting your skill into it. You do it. Let the computer do it for you. I don't, I don't know what charge is meant to do damage. I really guess you have to talent it to make it any good. Huh? Okay, so the first bit's like a wave of shadow damage, and then the next bit's a series of daggers. Okay. So we've killed one of the crates. Two of the crates. Let's loot him. Ooh, wine. Ooh, sturdy cow. Nice. Let's put the helmet on. Armor. Ooh. And it's a cloth, and it kind of fits, and it makes me look like a battle wizard. Yeah. Let's see, uh, is it a conceit? Now that's going to be quite cool. Oh. Oh, so it's just a selling item, okay. I can see we've got uh, 31 minutes of playtime, so we've got plenty of footage left to get. So as you can see, you can gear for, like magic, but be spec for melee to kind of get the best of both worlds, I guess. We're getting a lot of green cloth armor because it's sturdy. It's not that I'm complaining. Okay, so I need sorcery too. Okay, so some items require you to put more tants in sorcery. Okay, so I need to get some more palant, uh, tants in sorcery. Okay, fair enough. But we leveled up, so we can now uh, put some tants in sorcery. Um, persuasion might be needed. Let's put some in sorcery now. Scepter. Uh, we might get a scepter soon. I don't want that. Let's just increase Stormbolt. Staff Mastery. 
Must be like a battle mount. Uh, uh, can we get any of these? Uh, we got finesse and sorcery, haven't we? No, we haven't got enough in each one yet. Okay. So just stay like that and we can get finesse sorcery soon. Oh yeah, I'll be able to equip that, uh, shoes now. Okay, so all the items seem to look very similar of the same set. I don't know if it's because they're also low-level items and they try and do what WoW didn't do to begin with and keep the items looking like a set. Or I, if it's just because, I don't know, that all cloth gear will look like this. Hopefully it's not all just this bland. I mean, that'll be really bad if it's just art, all their arts this low level. I'm just going to go off down here just to see what's down here because it's kind of like dungeon exploration. Oh, there's mobs and items. Nice. Well, yeah. reckoning bonus XP. Ooh, green gloves, potion. As you can see, reckoning mode's quite cool. Everything starts glowing ye blue instead of yellow, which is quite good. And I do like when your menus, the entire game basically pauses. So let's go to armor. So that's armor socket with mana regen, but that's got armor. Uh, let's go there. It's armor socket. We don't know what armor socket will do yet. Again, it's the same look. Where's the different looks coming? I mean, I do like the fact that all my armor looks coherent, but I would like to see some new looks. And I forgot. We've got smoldering daggers and smoldering staff. So we're going to be. Uh, I'm basically a fire mage of Bernie Bernie Death Death. Now, the, that staff looks different to the last one, though. Luckily, we didn't... Let's change stuff. I mean, the staff... Oh, okay, the staff looks the same. So, I don't know if we're going to get... It. Except... Wait, wait, wait. It's a fire staff, but it gl glows white. Okay, uh, makes no sense. Uh, up here, not an alternate path. See what loots up here. I really do think they should start, um, I don't know, maybe it's good that it's all coherent at such a low level, but I do hope there's alternate item, I mean from what I've seen there are, will be different item looks, so should be, they, there is actually different looks later in game. Okay, maybe I should be using magic more than staff less. Uh, special loot. Is that cloth or plate? I'm not sure. Uh, plate. Yeah, Mike Warrior, so no, I don't want to wear those. Sprint. Back on the main path to continue the mission. Ooh, really nice effect. So I do hope there's item sets higher up, but oh, I will see. In fact, there may actually be sets and bonuses, but you know, the fact that we're already getting items with really good effects and stuff at this low level suggests they might get some really good ones later. Oh no, 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 we've been seen. <laughs> Stop killing me, you stupid! Yeah, I'm, I'm starting to find Birch Scepter. I. Okay, so scepters are like uh, wands. They fire spells. But I prefer the stave, which looks good. Although I am thinking that's bugged because. You know, Okay, spells, that bugged, uh, weapons, smouldering staff, right, so it's a fire staff, and yeah, it looks like it's the lightnings, but it's a lightning staff, oh, okay, the animations and spells must really be bugged, if that's not bugged, I pl implore them, or applaud them, I don't know uh, how it's what it's word, but I, you know, want them, please, 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 change it so it actually looks like it's a fire staff, 
Otherwise, I hope it's a bug, and if it is, I hope it gets fixed. Because, come on, it should easily be a fire staff. <laughs> See, look, it sets him on fire. Yeah, so if you're not a warrior, you, you know, you have to need to be dodging and, I don't know, using. Oh yeah, by the way, yeah, you can damage friendly targets by pressing H. So I'll show you that towards the end of the video. Just go nuts in town and kill things. Another law stone. Sometimes this is too hard to believe. But you can accept the strangest fact that you were wrong. Yes, but that and this endless vacuity is horrible. The Ancient Ones were here. They delivered themselves into the world. The time-worn cycle turns with ages. The seasons drift along the stream. They wait for the past. The future brings the forming storm. This is no place for a home for anyone. I probably should have got the other lore stone I saw in there, but uh, it's a bit kind of late, I guess. Um, if I get time, nah, I probably wouldn't get time. If I do, I might go back and get it, or uh, if you really want me to, uh, in post in the comments below in the videos, uh, whichever video this part this will be. Um, oh, another study hand wraps. Have I got those equipped? No, I, yeah, I have, yeah. Or oh, something like that. Oh, another lore stone. Oh, no, I've already used this one, haven't I? Yeah. Um, if you push in the comments below and you want me to go back and get the other lore stone in there, you know, it might give me a buff because it's part of a set. And if there's any more I missed in there, just comment below if you want me to go back and get them. And I do like how the world changes as you do things, enemies spawn but after you force certain things. Oh, dodge! And I do like the enemies actually at such a low level do charge you and stuff. It makes you kind of think, feel kind of powerful. So let's go up here. Now the thing about scepters, uh, I'll actually show you what scepters do. I've got one I should kind of show you what it does. Uh, let's change my prime meter scepter. So I've got my scepter. Let's equip. And uh, switch to it. Oh, that's sorry, spell. You fire shot, like a gun, and you can uh, charge it and fire like a larger shot that goes everywhere. So it's, uh, that's kind of like wait for them to get close and fire it, because uh, otherwise it offshoots and will probably hiss, hit miss the target. Oh, wrong way. I'm going to be going up here. It does use a bit of mana, and I think when it actually hits targets, it uses more m mana than when it doesn't. So, uh, we're just going to stick with the state for now. Actually, I'll try and show you how it works in combat, look. Uh, see the so you can try and, like, semi-charge shots while moving, to kind of increase its damage. Mega shot! Lightning. Is that lightning? Is that what? I just want to check. Uh, fine bits. Oh, it's that is meant to be lightning damage. It may just be because of my lightning spells and stuff. It just registers as lightning, maybe. I'm not sure. Although it definitely does set fire to them, like its other effects suggest it should. Leather shoes, I believe. Just up here. Destroy crates. This chest. Twenty one. And as you can see, as you uh I don't know if pickpocketing skill increases as you pickpocket or oh no, uh uh pick locking increases as you pick lock or if it only increases uh, if you level the skill up that way. I assume it may only level as you level the skill up, but I'm not quite sure. 
I assume, you know, when you do pick a lock, if that is the case, you only level up while you uh, level your skill up. I assume pick locking will actually give you XP so you can level it. Well, that would be interesting to use it to level skill. Ooh. Gems. Ooh, yeah. Try that for target practice, mate. And that's what I call target practice. So I've still got ch uh, chests or crates to destroy over here, and still crates to destroy over here. Oh, I've turned cart. Ooh. So you got crafting materials you get. You know, crafting materials to use craft items and combine them. Right, let's go fast travel while we're here actually to save time. So it's just a loading screen. Um, right, let's go back here. It's got time. 22 minutes, we've got plenty of time. <laughs> 